Hey guys, Yu-Gi-Oh! Prodigy here and welcome to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Marketing. Now, in this episode I want to talk about some cards that are... that were talked about quite a bit in, by a lot of different Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTubers. And those cards are referring to the April 2014 ban list that will be coming out soon in a couple of weeks. Now when a new ban list is coming out, that's a really good time for people to make money or lose money. Simply because until the official list is posted on the Konami website, people are just guessing on which cards are going to come off the ban list or which cards are going to go on the ban list. So based on your predictions, if you think that a card is going to come off the ban list, and you buy a bunch of them while they're at a really low price and then they come off the ban list and the price goes up super high because now everyone can play them so those people will make lots of money now there's also those people that mispredict and they buy a bunch of cards that they think will come off the ban list but actually doesn't come off the ban list and then they just lose a bunch of money or they have a hard time getting rid of those cards now for this ban list coming up the card that a lot of people are talking about in particular is Dark Strike Fighter. Now Dark Strike Fighter is one of the one of the older synchro monsters and it was really good and it was broken and went on the ban list in the first place simply because there was a loop with it where you could just keep summoning monsters and using Dark Strike Fighter's effect and just burn your opponent away for game. So a lot of people for some reason saying Dark Strike Fighter is going to come off the ban list. Now this is completely possible and if Dark Strike Fire does come off the ban list, what does this mean? Now in my opinion, it was um, rumored around that Dark Strike Fire is getting a ruling change. Now what this means is that they're going to probably reprint a Dark Strike Fighter and change the texting of the card and that would change the effect of the card and most likely, most likely they're going to change it to like a once per turn thing. Now, if they change it to once per turn, you can't OTK, FTK someone as easily with Dark Strike Fighter anymore. So, what this means is that Dark Strike Fighter won't actually be as good as it used to be. And if it's not that good, then why would people run it in their extra deck? I mean, like, you're only allowed to have 15 cards in your extra deck anyways. Why fill up a spot with a card that you can't really push for a big push for game? So, if they do change Dark Strike Fighter and take it off the ban list, I don't see this card being as hot as it is. If you have Dark Strike Fire right now, I do recommend you sell it as fast as you can because right now they're being sold for ten to twenty dollars. At first, it used to be a two dollar card, but with all this hype and rumors going around, people are trying to sell it for ten to twenty, and that's a really good time if you have one to sell it because if they do make the changes and they do nerf Dark Strike Fire, then it won't be as good as it was, and it, the value is just going to drop again. So if you do plan on trying to invest in a card on the new balance coming out, I don't really recommend Dark Strike Fighter. You can if you want, it's your choice. But in my opinion, I don't think it's going to be as strong as an investment as other cards. And um, what if Dark Strike Fighter doesn't even come off the balance? Then it's just a whole a whole big waste of time. Um, in the December balance, a lot of people were uh, thinking that Trishula was going to come back and a lot of people were investing in Trishula. It, it went up to like a $50 card at one point and that card still is on the ban list so it might come off the ban list for April, we don't even know but there's always those cards that people think will come back and usually around this time is a lot uh, the prices of cards do fluctuate, uh, fluctuate like crazy so in this video Dark Strike Fighter I don't really recommend investing in it. If you do have one, I do recommend selling it as fast as you can to make some decent profit. And as always guys, thanks for watching. Comment down below on what you think about Dark Strike Fighter. Do you think it's going to come back? Do you think they're going to change the ruling of that card? And I'll see you guys next week. Subscribe. I post videos every week. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.